Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a station wagon. Station wagons are road cars that have extra storage in the back so they can store more, so they can store more stuff in the back compartment and also more seats for passengers. Although this particular one I'm making will have a wheel on the back so it will look something like a 4x4 station wagon. Actually combining them all together, it's a I've actually made it so it looks more like a Toyota Hilux Surf, which is a 1994 4x4 model. I used to have this in my family, but it broke down. So first, so just as usual, here are all the bricks you're going to need to make it. Pause the video so you can keep track of all the bricks here. And with that, let's get started. But before we do get started, I would like to point out that, that this extra fifth wheel here and this extra for one by two axle piece is actually for if you want to have your station wagon have an extra wheel. But if you don't want it to have an extra wheel, you can always replace this with a one by two plate. And with that, let's get started. Just like all my other videos, if, you're, uh, if you already know up until now, we will start with the regular 4x7 chassis. And just like when I did 13th ra racing in the last video, we will start with two 2x3 two plates. So next up, so what I'm going to focus on first is actually doing the doors. Just like in the last video, we will need two 1x3 bricks and we want to put them on like so. So before we finish the door section, I'm going to add some 1x2 tile bricks here so it makes it easier for your Lego minifig to sit inside and also add some side view mirrors. To add the side view mirrors, you will need two of these one by one bricks with a hot, with a curved hole. And you will need two one by one cheese slopes. Now on it, you want to put this cheese slope on this way, like this. And then you want to put the other one on in the opposite way, on the opposite direction. So they will look like this. Now let's say this is the front of the vehicle. You want to make sure the black part is facing the front. And then to cover up these studs here, we need two to one by two tiles and put them on like so. To start things off, we're actually going to start with the back this time. Just like, just like in my other video, you can either use two sets of two foot two by two corner pieces or two sets of one by four plates. Because I don't have a total of four 2x2 two two corner pieces, I'm going to use this as a compromise. So we're going to put these aside for a moment. So first off, to start with the back here, we are going to need two 2x2 two two plates in blue. And we want to put them on here. Then underneath it, we want to put on a blue 1x4 tile plate. And you can see room for two, you can see room here. If you like, you can either use two 2x2 two two plates or you can use one 1x4 one plate. 
it won't matter since you won't really see this no, no matter what you do. Now, you obviously know the mud guard's going to go here, but for the back part, we're actually going to put on a 1x2 black plate. And then you obviously know what's coming next, the mud guards. But we're also going to do, well, we're going to make something a bit different in here this time. Unlike in the previous videos, when I covered it up, we're actually going to give it a bit of room. So for that, you'll need a 1x2 plate in black again and stick it here. Now, on, now for the next part here, we need a 1x2 tile, but unfortunately I don't have one. So I'm going to compromise with two 1x1 one one tiles. This will also be my first LEGO 4x7 to actually have something that you can store in the back of the vehicle. So now for the back part here, we'll need to put on the tail lights and the black in the middle. So you want two 1x1 one one plates in transparent red and you want to stick them on the ends. And as for the back part, remember this is optional and you don't have to go for it, but you can either go for a 1x2 plate, or if you feel like it, a 1x2 one, a one plate with an axle and, and a wheel. Let's say we go for this, for example, you want to put the 1x2 the one axle, 1x2 one plate, and then stick the wheel on the axle like so. My family wagon actually has a bit of a mix of a 4x4 four four, four four Jeep and a family wagon. Similar to a 4x4 four four station wagon like this. So now we want to sit, we want to sit, cover all this up using a 1x4 pl plate. And to make sure it stays in place, we will need two 1x3 plates in blue. So before we complete the back part here, we will need another 1x2 plate again, and we want to put it here. And we will need another 1x2 plate to put on the back. So that way we've got some space in the middle. I will show you what kind of stuff you can put in here, here at, when the foot build is complete. So we're now going to focus on making the, we're now going to focus on making the, the whole of the back area of the, of the boot. Just like in a normal family wagon, I mean station wagon. And to do that, we're going to need four one by four one by two bricks in transparent white. And two one by one br bricks in blue. When I say blue, it just means you can pretty much make it in any colour you want, but the colours that you are seeing on here are what I recommend to really make it stand out. So you want to put all the, all these clear bricks on like so. One on the black tile. Then you want to put the next two on here. And here. And you want to put the last one right here. And you already know where the one by ones are going to go. Now to cover the whole thing up, you can either use two 2x3 two tiles or a 1x4 tile and a 2x4 tile. We want to use the 1x4 to put on here and then the 2x4 to put on here. 
The reason for that is just so that way you can easily take off the, the 2x4 tile and put your items inside, which I will show you when the build is complete. So now that the back part is done, we're now going to focus on the front. Put the steering wheel in place here. And then we want to stick on a 1x2 plate. Now on the underneath, we're going to need to put on two 2x2 two two corner pieces, or you can replicate the back here if you have no corner pieces. And we want to cover all this up with a 1x4 plate. And on top of that, we'll need to stick on two 2x2 two two corner pieces. So it's exactly the same to the back. I must apologise if this is taking a bit longer than I thought. I guess I'm going too much into detail because of it, because of the extra option. But you know where the mud guard goes, it goes here. Now for the front part here, it's actually exactly the same to the back, but this time you want but this time instead of using one by one plates in one by one plates in transparent red, you'll need one by one plates in transparent clear and stick them on like this. And then a black 1x2 plate in the middle. So, we want, so next you want to put on a 1x2 plate, put it here, and a 1x2 tile here. You can pretty much either use flat or but you can either put, use flat put, plate or whatever because they'll, they'll all be covered up anyway. Then you want to cover up the, the headlights with a 1x4 tile. Now the next part, this is actually where we're going to put on the front windscreen. You want a 1x4 plate and stick it right here. And then what you will need after that is a 1x4 bracket in, the, in clear. Unfortunately, I don't have that, so I'm going to use two of these 1x2 transparent transparent brackets and stick them on like this. And for the last part here, we're going to need to put on a 2x4 slope. If you don't have a 2x4 slope, you can either use two two by two slopes with a one by four plate or four one by two slopes with a one by four plate. And lastly, the wheels. I'm using these wheels because I know that most family cars tend to have more tire than rim. And there you go, that's how you build a family wagon. Uh, I mean, a station wagon. So I think I'm mixed up, but... <clears throat> I did promise you that at the end, I would show you what you use this back part for. So you take off the 2x4 tile, and then you can actually fit in some Lego bricks in there so it looks like your minifigure's actually putting things in the back seat. It's putting things in the back boot. Just like that. This car I actually met, made, I think I already explained it, but just in case, it's based off a Toyota Hilux Surf, which was released in the 90s. And if you followed all the, correct, the instructions correctly, your car should look like this. Hope you had fun making it, and I'll see you in the next video.
Bye.